Who is Sean approved from the world of entertainment? There's only one person. Oh, go on. And I call him Sean. That's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean single, approved. There's not a single person that, that outside should be, of family. That should be no, outside of my mother. Okay. Just that should be calling me. Yeah, that should be calling me Sean. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. Yeah. You understand? Right. And we're here together, and, and, and we're going to keep staying together. We're getting tighter. That's you right. know what I'm saying? That's and, right. and, and united we stand. And right. ain't nothing else to, right. to us. Yeah. Black yeah. excellence. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jay-Z and Beyonce have been suspiciously silent ever since Diddy's lawsuit allegations. As we got to know, they're close with Diddy and are trying to prevent their dark secrets from getting exposed. He is to stop working against us. Stop doing that bullshit behind the scenes that we know you're doing. Um, mainstream media, you know, they ain't fucking with us. And that's cool. We can do it ourselves, you know what I'm saying? We still on the rise without these motherfuckers, so... We don't need them. You don't need them. You know, so what am I going to do to deal with these motherfucking gatekeepers? Well, what I'm going to do is go on a fuck the gatekeepers podcast tour and I'm going to go talk to everybody, everybody, you know, and get a chance to Get my message out to the people. Um, be able to let people hear from me, you know. And, and you know, you might agree, you might not. But the, the important thing is, you know, for me to go on these platforms, say what I feel about what I think. And, you know... Some people may get pissed off because I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not playing, and um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a crazy summer. It's gonna be fun. Appreciate y'all. Always support the big three. Hopefully, I'm doing stuff that you guys dig. You know, I'm Ice Cube is insinuating that Diddy's rich buddies are in on it and will stop at nothing to cover their own behinds. Jay-Z was also alleged to have been with underage girls too, but gets overlooked. I'm going to expose somebody that we all forget about. Y'all see this picture of Jay, Jay-Z with Aaliyah when she was underage? Yeah, I forgot about Jay, huh? We only know about Damon Dash messing with Aaliyah and, uh, and R. Kelly. But that ain't the only one that Jay had when she was underage. Yeah, I remember Fox Brown and Jay. Ain't no woman like the one I got. No one could love you better. <laughs> Before that song came out, we used to hear it. I used to tell shit. I was like, ooh, that shit. Him and Mystical, those were two songs that were hot. That It took like a year before it got, well, I'll say to the West Coast. I don't know if they were beating it up on the East Coast. But on the West Coast, it took like a year before those songs came out. And then Nelly... And then Nelly's song with the Link St. Louis text. But I'm just saying all that to say, Foxy was young then as well. And so all of these, uh, these guys and the underage young ladies was running rapid in the 90s. And so that's all I remember. That's all I think about. You know, with, with the DeBarge and, and Janet Jackson <laughs> situation. Hey, that's all I think about and I can remember about Aaliyah. My, Aaliyah was my wife's favorite uh, artist. She loved the hell out of Aaliyah. It was a tragic how she died. Uh, you know, trying to rush back to get to, to Damon Dash uh, on the plane. You know, and what happened is the Bahamas, the Bahamians let her fly out and their plane was uh, 
overloaded or full. That's the one thing that I didn't like about when I traveled to our black countries like the Bahamas and Jamaica and all of them. The officials there, we used to have to bribe them a hundred dollars to to make the rules pass. The let us in with the dogs that we didn't have properly claimed, <laughs> or uh, hunt, you know, the not search our bags or whatever, or to sneak away with a whole bunch of cigars and stuff like that. But in Mexico, <laughs> one thing about the motherfucking Mexican authorities. That number used to be five G's, <laughs> five thousand, and stuff like that. And I used to laugh. I was like, "Damn, black folks is easily bribable. <laughs> they so cheap. They don't understand the value that they be having." But yeah, that's that's all I got on Aaliyah. Really, it's a talent. That's another person that life was taken too soon. That was a talent. Wonder what she would be now. Her pop. Big Pun, Biggie, Selena, people like that were taken too soon, in my opinion. Shout out. Now that's one serious allegation. The real question here is why does it seem like Jay-Z is going to get away with it? Although it doesn't seem like things would stay like that for long, should Diddy start snitching to the feds. How you be around, you know, I guess to the niggas he fuck with he like that, but on meeting somebody, on doing certain business with people, the arrogant shit that he go through, it ain't no real brother, real nigga type. Taking on a new identity with his hair, Dressing like his stylist. They got the same colors, the same thing on. What men you know do that? What grown ass men you know dress like that? With they dress, have the same colors and the same shit they have on with they stylist, they man, whoever the new. Whoever the mother niggas is. So now, this is went down. When y'all heard Becky with the good hair by Beyonce, I knew that him and Puff was housing white British girls. I, they gonna come out. Maybe they do. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But they were housing white British girls. And when I tell you. I wouldn't take them chicks to a frog jumping race. That's how bad they look. They didn't look like the one you be like, yo, damn, I could see. Oh, I could see that. Because whenever time they meet with each other, they'll say, yo, how your skinny little white thing doing? How your skinny white girl doing? How your skinny white girl doing? No, nah, I wouldn't take him to a frog jumping race, uh, Ed Miller. For real, for real. That's how bad they look. And they used to meet up in restaurants that had not opened because, like, a lot of restaurants might open up at, three or four o'clock in the afternoon, serve restaurants that stay late night in New York. We used to go in the restaurants when they were closed in a private room. They have a little meal, puff wood with the skinny little white girls. And I'm sure their friends was doing the same with Jay. 
because they would talk about it. Man, I don't care nothing about them niggas right through them industry niggas. I swear for a living God, bro. You know what I'm saying? When when them niggas crossed the line and they did what they did, nigga, don't ask me. I wouldn't I wouldn't hold motherfucking water when it got to come something to do with them. Apparently, Jay-Z got his own thing on the side. While he wouldn't be at Diddy's freak-off parties because he's done proper image laundering, he also made sure to get in bed with the feds. Looks like Kanye West was right that they had made deals with the feds. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks is because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck up about, you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right, right. I'm Michael now. Right, Every right. Michael you can think of, right. but mostly Godfather Michael now. Yo, it's a girl used to sing that song in church, and you should have seen all the devilish things that were going through my mind in church. Hey, Matrix Manny, pretty gangster, Monique. What is this, a membership party? Hey. How y'all doing today, man? Diamond Shorty, the, the Bearded King, all these are my members, Thomas Smith Jr., Monique Irvin. Oh, in the house, Miss Goddess K, Libra Queen. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. Yo, I wanted to do this story today, man, because I heard Dame Dash say some things about Jay that I had already said years ago. And I got a lot of respect that Dame, OG Patrice, what's up, mama? That Dame uh, didn't uh, come out and say some of the things about Jay earlier because he was trying to keep it loyal to the streets. I might have to just put your name up while I'm doing this and because I want to acknowledge you, you know, for being one of my members, but I, I, I do want to get through this, this little uh, thing that I'm saying. So now, um, he was talking about how they were doing business over there at Rockefeller and some of the things that I had a couple of run-ins with Jay myself. And I, I don't like the character of the brother. You know, I catch a lot of flack from my man Lamont out there in um, Newark about Jay-Z. And because he's a, a Jay-Z fan and, you know, he's a boss himself, but, you know, that nigga love him some Jay-Z. <sighs> Whoa, and I told that nigga, bruh, Jay is the type of nigga, he wouldn't piss on you if you was on fire. He not a good dude, man. And you know how you be around. You know, I guess to the niggas, he fuck with he like that. But on meeting somebody, on doing certain business with people, arrogant shit that he go through it ain't no real brother real nigga type of shit you know i dealt with him in cancun and he didn't get his face broke down because of uh laura because laura know at the time i was running with the 12th street posse slick in the family we was all giving events we was doing our thing and I wasn't nothing to be played with. And he was doing some B-A-N at the door in Cancun. So I've, I've told that story plenty of times. And then I met him up, I met up with him with Puff. 
at the next game. And the nigga was like, I guess he didn't remember or he didn't want to remember, but the nigga was straight on mine. Like, I felt kind of violated because he was straight like crazy. Like, yo, big man, Puff told me, yo, yo, you, you look like you're a break a nigga down crazy. I said, you don't remember, I thought to say, you don't know I'm about to break your ass down in Cancun. I started to tell that nigga that shit. So this story and this thing today, and I'm going to do another show tonight or two or three shows because I want to get a lot of shit out that I want y'all to know about before you understand it comes out and, and somebody else try to well they may put you up on it but i don't think they're gonna they think like i think um the other time we was at the mets no no at the nets and it was me puff asher kush as uh was this ashlyn cook kutcher the white dude from that 70s show and uh he was asking Puff about that young girl, uh, Brittany. Jay-Z might be worse than Diddy. He's not as squeaky clean as he appears in the media, which is not totally shocking if you've heard the rumors flying around the internet for a while. Right. I want no, you tell it. No, you're, you're no I want you to tell it. You really are the best. You're proving it here today. <laughs> as much as I'm proving it, you proving it. You proving it. Um, yeah, that wasn't the thing. It wasn't. People say that he lost $50 million. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. And until you understand what happened to the dude, you don't understand what happened. Like, no, not they offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now I've had to turn down $50 million four times, four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right, uh, cause P Diddy be wanting to body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. Hell. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so I mean, freely. Kid, 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 I need to know. You here, get your number. Thank you, okay. sir. Thank you. I just had a question. I'm just trying to tell all these young cats out there, trying to come up, you know, like, where do you think they gotta go to? From your point of view, you know what I'm saying? What is the best advice you could give them? Because I'll be telling them, like, my best advice is they gotta do it They're a whole new way different way like, like like they from another planet but coming from you coming from the man of of, of men right now tell them something tell them something good i mean first of all you want to stay away from me diddy pop the motherfuckers the motherfuckers dancing all on the motherfucking stage and shit they want your ass you call them astronauts so be afraid be very afraid you really ain't built for the game or something 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 don't, like that. Don't be trying to be famous. Like you gonna run into a motherfucker like that. Gay, the basketball niggas is, niggas is gay. There's millions of gay people in the world. Young, girls too. Like we, you know, they just, for some reason, once again, I'm not a fan of that shit either. I'm a fan of y'all, I'm gay. What the fuck? <laughs> like, 2011, you gotta hide that you're gay? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, be real. Like, y'all, I'm gay. What the fuck? If, if you gay, you gay. Like, that's your preference. You know, fuck it if the people don't like it. But, but in a in a field like like hip hop, which is very very it's homophobic, cool. it's the greatest. It's the greatest gay market in the world. Do you think that there'll ever be an out of the closet gay it's rapper? It's owned. The, the hip hop community is most likely owned by gay. To be honest but, with but you, do you think there'll be? An They're owned out of by the gay. There, I happen to think there's a gay mafia in hip hop. Right. Not rappers. You know, right. the editorial presidents of magazines, sure. the, the, the PDs at radio stations, the, the, the people who give you award at award shows, the, this, this is a fucking gay mafia, my man. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? They are in power. So why wouldn't a guy come out and say, yo, I'm gay and get that type of love? I mean, Lady Gaga, I don't know if she's gay, but she running with that gay shit for real. And she is winning. Little, Rap music, little, nah, it ain't no li little different. Little different Everybody got somebody gay in their house, in their family. I'm not saying in their same house, but in their family, somebody got somebody gay. 
So I don't. I, I think it's 2011 going on 2012. I think if you're gay, rep your set.